There are more than 100 billion galaxies in the visible universe, and each small galaxy contains approximately a billion stars. Furthermore, each big galaxy contains more than a trillion. Many of these stars have planets, and many of these planets have satellites. All these celestial bodies follow the most finely calculated paths and orbits for millions of years. Stars, planets, and satellites all rotate around their own axes and also rotate together with the system of which they are a part. The universe functions within an order, just like the wheels in a factory. The movement of celestial bodies in their orbits is based upon extreme fine-tuning. Even the slightest deviation from their paths could have drastic consequences that might spell the end of the entire system. For example, the consequences of the Earth's deviating from its course by a mere three millimeters have been described in one source as follows. While rotating around the Sun, the Earth follows such an orbit that every 18 miles it only deviates 2.8 millimeters from a direct course. The orbit followed by the Earth never changes because even a deviation of 3 millimeters would cause catastrophic disasters. If the deviation were 2.5 millimeters instead of 2.8 millimeters, then the orbit would be very large and all of us would freeze. If the deviation were 3.1 millimeters, we would be scorched to death. These facts were only discovered through astronomical research in the 20th century. Yet it was revealed 14 centuries ago in the Quran that heavenly bodies revolve in very finely tuned orbits. I swear by heaven with its oscillating orbits. In another verse we are told that it is he who created night and day and the sun and moon, each one swimming in a sphere. According to astronomers calculations the sun moves along a path known as the solar apex in the path of a star Vega. This is just as revealed in the Quran. And the sun runs to its resting place. At the time of the revelation of the Quran, mankind definitely did not possess telescopes with which to gaze on outer space millions of kilometers away, observation technology, or the modern sciences of physics and astronomy. Therefore, it was impossible at that time to scientifically determine that space was equipped with oscillating orbits. However, this fact is clearly stated in the Quran, which was sent down at that time, because the Quran is the word of God.